It was around 2008 I was diagnosed with vascular malformation in my leg, which is a disease that just has a bunch of like abnormally large veins trapping like my normal veins. They really weren't even sure what it was because it's such a rare disease, uh, but they finally diagnosed it about three days later and said, this is it. He has to live with this. It's only going to get worse and there's nothing we can do for it. It just caused a lot of pain and it slowly progressed. I became immobile. I had to use a wheelchair to get around. We tried doing surgeries um, both here in San Diego and flying to Denver to see a world specialist, but just after time they just stopped working. We didn't think about amputation until probably about four solid years in when he was on hydrocodone every day. The last year we just said we'd had it. I, had, I was done watching my son lay on a couch. Finally, last year I decided to amputate my leg on June 12, 2014. As a mom I was so excited for Andrew to, to have his amputation and I couldn't wait for him to get his first leg and then what happened was after his amputation and he got fitted in his first leg it, it, it wasn't any of what I thought it was going to be and I was really frustrated you know he wasn't getting up in the morning all excited to put his leg on to go to school but I was and and I finally one morning I kind of lost it and I said I don't understand and I started to cry and said everything we fought for and all your dreams are, have come true and you can walk now and you don't even want to wear your leg. I, I, I didn't understand. Pretty much the old socket was literally a bucket. It had little to no adjustability. It was really hard to keep on for an extended period of time. Even sitting down, like I couldn't sit down at a dinner table and eat. I have to take it off. We then became introduced to Lim and he got into his limb socket for the first time and he was a completely different kid. You know, his face lit up the minute he put that socket on. And at that moment, that is the day I realized that the, that whole time it was the socket that caused all of his anguish and, and pain. And, and, and the new limb socket changed his entire world. When I got this socket, it's just, it's nearly entirely adjustable. So like if I want to sit down and I'm somewhere all day, I can just adjust it to just make it more comfortable and then when I'm out and about I can just tighten it all the way. And in the other socket I couldn't even wear it for more than a few hours. This I've worn it all day. I'm excited with the socket that uh, Andrew's in. Um, I think he's going to be able to do and try everything he wants to. In his old socket he wouldn't have been he wouldn't have had that. We would have been lucky to keep it on him for a couple hours. Pretty much before it was cool to see what I was gonna be do in the future but now I'm actually gonna be able to do that. Like now that I won't just be sitting there being like, ooh, that's cool, I want to do that. Now I'll be like, I am doing that. We have to make changes. You know, people deserve better products and they deserve a socket like Andrew's wearing, like the limb socket. This needs to be accessible to all children. All the friends he's made through CAS, all the friends he made at Camp No Limits, all these kids would give anything to have a socket like that. So for Andrew, it's, it's just really important that he tries and helps other kids have what he has. There is something after amputation, it's not just not having a leg ever again.